This is The Lost Little Bird by David McPhail. A little bird flew into a tree and bumped his head. Oof. The little bird felt all jumbled up. He couldn't even remember what kind of bird he was. But the little bird was determined to find out. The little bird thought he might be a nightingale. Tweet, tweet. Stop, you're hurting my ears. But he wasn't. Maybe I'm a robin, he thought. But he wasn't a robin either. Yikes! Perhaps he was an eagle. No, you are not an eagle. You are too little. Uh, maybe I'll get bigger. But he was not. Could I be a crow, the little bird wondered. Care to join us? Oh, yuck. But he was definitely not a crow. An owl tried to help by asking the little bird some questions. Who, who, who? But the owl flew away before the little bird could answer. Wait! The little bird spotted an egret standing in a pond and flew down to join her. Help! I'm afraid your legs aren't long enough. But he soon discovered that he was not an egret. Nor was he a sandpiper. Uh-oh! Run! Could I possibly be a duck, he asked himself. Uh, but can you swim? Uh, no. The answer again was nope. The chickens were encouraging. Keep trying, but the little bird knew that he was not a chicken. Maybe tomorrow. He tried pecking wood. Nope, the little bird was no woodpecker. Of course you have a headache. You're not cut out for this line of work. The little bird was sad and discouraged. He flew down and landed on the rim of a bird bath. As he sat there, the little bird was joined by another bird. Hello, she said. Who are you? I don't know, said the little bird. I bumped my head and I forgot. I don't even know what kind of bird I am. You're a bluebird like me, she told the little bird. The little bird was happy. Now he knew what kind of bird he was. You can come to my house, said his companion. So the little bird did. And he stayed for a long, long time. The end. I love you.